I've always been a fit guy, but with COVID and a few other issues, just got out of the habit. So when we got the invite to come here to take part in this project, we grabbed it with both hands. The practice at Hadwin is very proactive in terms of reaching out to the community. We're here using a community centre which is less than 100 metres from the actual surgery itself and involving patients as well. We just wanted to show that yes, we're trying to be more than a GP surgery. We want to actually help people, encourage them to make sort of lifestyle changes. The initiative has been really successful. It's given us a chance to work with primary care to identify patients that would benefit from this the most. And I think working with Abbeydale Community Centre allows us to reach deep into communities and really understand how people can come together socially, physically, and just enjoy exercise together, really. You feel a lot more comfortable about trying to do things. If you were in a gym, the perception that you have is that everybody there is young, fit, healthy. So it kind of puts a barrier in there before you've even started. Whereas you're with people that are similar age, similar disabilities, you think to yourself, well, if they can do it, I can do it. So it's encouraging. We looked at running a 12-week programme. So for each of those programmes, for about an hour each, and that normally breaks down into about a 20-minute information session and then 40 minutes of physical activity and exercise. The aim of the programme is at the end of the 12 weeks to give the patients enough information around lifestyle choices that they can go away and make more informed choices. This little project that we're doing now, it's just opened my eyes to realising how unfit I am and I should be maintaining the fitness to keep me fit in later life. I didn't have any motivation before. After the course, my motivation is high. I've taken on board that it's down to me really to help myself to keep healthy. And with the support of the group, I feel 10 times better, to be honest. I was especially interested because I'm interested in health and fitness and nutrition myself. It's really struck by the positivity of it all. There was next to none or none at all dropout from the start of the programme to the end of the programme, which is unusual as well. So yeah, fantastic. Inside the community centre, we've got a community activity class going on. It's part of a Sport England funded project through the Together Fund and we sponsored this project to really bring groups of people together living with long-term conditions who would benefit from education and group activity to support the management of their health. One of the plans for the programme was that we wanted to do something that not just Hadwin can do, but almost a sort of off-the-shelf programme that we could give to another GP surgery and they could run something similar for their patients if they wanted to. It's worked together so well because of relationships of trust and being able to build relationships with clinical staff and have something that is so local to the community on the doorstep. But I think it's that proximity of being in somebody's place, space and context and having local people trust their health service provider and therefore have that immediate invitation to a local activity. And those two things kind of working in synergy is what makes this project so successful.